What's up YouTube, how you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upload GPS information into a Lowrance Elite 4 HDI. And the location I'm going to show you guys how to upload is um, Fish Attractors in Lake Lanier, which is one of my home lakes. I fish Lake Lanier quite a bit. You're going to need a mini SD card, an SD card adapter, and a Lowrance Elite 4 HDI. There's GPS information available all over the internet in regards to, you know, specific states or bodies of water, saltwater, freshwater rivers. Uh, it's out there. You just got to go find it. So go to Google, and we're going to search for Lake Lanier GPS data. And we're going to scroll down and be mindful of the source you're going to. And in this case, I'm going to use the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers site. They have this data up and available for free. So you click and scroll on, scroll down, and you're looking for a download that's a zip file. And what that zip file is, is it's a compressed file and it generally has a .gpx file within it. Sometimes you'll get them and they'll have PDF files included, um, KMZ, KMZ files, which are Google Earth files. So sometimes it'll be a package of information for different uses. And in this case, we're looking for the GPX file. So once you've found the zip file that you want to upload, you're going to want to download this file and save it in a place where you can find it. Once you've downloaded the GPX file, you want to open it up, and if it's in a zip file, you want to extract it and look for the GPX file. Once you've identified it, you want to save this file on your mini SD card. Some GPS and Depth finders, they take uh, standard SD cards. Some of them take the mini SD card. The Lowrance Elite 4 HDI takes the mini SD card. Okay, so once you've saved your file in your card, go ahead and boot up the Lowrance Elite 4 HDI. Take the card out of your machine. Remove the mini SD card from the adapter and plug it into the Lowrance Elite 4 HDI. And underneath the directional pad there's a little rubber stopper. You're going to want to open that up and inside you'll see a port for the mini SD card. As you can see here, here's Lake Lanier and I currently don't have any data, GPS data, saved into my map. We're going to access this information through the Lowrance settings and upload it for use. So you want to hit Menu, System, and then Browse Files. And this is going to show you that your GPX file is there. So you want to go and check and make sure that it is there in the file it is being read. And once it is, you're going to go back into Overall Menu. You're going to want to go to Chart, and then Waypoints, Routes, and Trails. Okay, once you've done this, you're going to hit Menu again and scroll down until you see Load from Card. Hit Enter. Specify which file you want to load. Hit the Load button. And there it goes. So now we're going to back out of the menu, check Lake Lanier on the GPS, and as you can see, all of the fish attractor locations have been set. Now there's a wide variety of information out there guys, some of it you have to pay for, some of it is free. 
um, in this particular file. Um, this file is offered for free uh, from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers site. But there are tons of websites out there where you can access GPX files or maps, that sort of thing. I hope this video has been informative. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or if I'm doing it wrong. Thanks for watching.